Nothing like an elite. It's unbelievable. All very good. But what? 50 grand. 50,000. 50,000 pounds, it's a lot. I admit, 50,000 is a lot, OK, for a car made by turnip farmers out of melted-down toilet seats. <laughs> but if you compare that to a Ferrari 430, and you can, it's the bargain of the century. Yeah, but it's not as fast as a 430, is it? No, Ferrari 430 is here, 122.9. OK, now, we put that uh, round earlier today, and it did a 125.7, but look at that. Oh, we'll ignore that, shall we? Ooh, that's <laughs> all good. Yeah. It was quicker. But it's the same as a 5-litre Gallardo Spider. No, which is a tremendous achievement. Yeah. But we're not going to show you that lap, because instead we've got something much, much more expensive. Yes, we have, and here it is. It's the Ferrari FXX. It's a bit like an Enzo, except it has 860 horsepower. And even though it costs a million pounds, none of the 30 people who have bought one have ever taken delivery. No, seriously, OK? You buy this car and then Ferrari keep it at the factory. Yeah, I mean, they will take it to a racetrack so you can borrow your car for the day, but then they take it away again. Anyway, the point is, OK, since it's here and since we believe it could go very near to the top of our leaderboard, we thought that you would prefer to see this do a lap in the hands of our tame racing driver. Some say that he invented the curtain. <laughs> And that he recently submitted a £20,000 expenses claim for some gravel. <laughs> for his moat. <laughs> All we know is, he's called the Steg. <laughs> and he's off, lots of wheel spin off the line, but then this car has a lot of power. Almost as much, in fact, as an F1 car. First corner comes in fast as it needs to to keep the massive wing generating downforce. Steg working hard. No music, thankfully, because the FXS doesn't have a stereo. Just look at the way it glides around Chicago. It's like Batman on a track day. Hammerhead now. How will it cope? I'm guessing well. Oh, but look how it reacted to that bump on the way through. Never seen a car do that before. Is the stig phased? Hard to tell. But let's assume not. Follow through. And surely, even with downforce, the mighty power of the 6.3 these of E12 means he'll have to lift off. I don't think he did. I don't think he did. So, just two corners left. Here we go. And look now, look at the brake discs. Glowing red hot. This really is like a Formula One car, but with a windscreen wiper. Just Gambon left. Here he comes. Just flies through there across the line.